So from our observations of the geometric interpretations of the span in R3, we are able to make the following conclusions, the following connections. And this is the ever important equivalence theorem. So this is a super duper important theorem that we will be continuously referencing throughout the rest of the course. So here we go. We want to begin by letting A be some M by N matrix. Now, the following four statements are logically equivalent. This means that they're either all true or they're all false. So, keeping our geometric interpretations or descriptions of the span in R3 in mind, let's start by this statement. The columns of matrix A span Rm. So the columns of matrix A span Rm. So thinking about the definition of span, we know that, well then for every vector B that lives in Rm, we can rewrite that vector as a linear combination of the columns of matrix A. So we can say that every vector B in Rm can be written then as a linear combination of the columns of A. By definition of span. So what can we conclude from this statement? If every vector B in Rm can be written as a linear combination of the columns of matrix A, then for every vector B in Rm, the matrix equation has a solution. So for every vector B in Rm, the matrix equation, matrix A times vector X equals vector B, has a solution. So if for every vector B in Rm, if the matrix equation has a solution, what does that tell us about matrix A? Matrix A must then have a pivot position in every row. So our final logical equivalence is that matrix A has a pivot position in each row. So these are the four statements of our logical equivalence. We have that if the columns of matrix A span Rm, then for every vector B in Rm, this vector B can be written as a linear combination of the columns of matrix A which tells us that for every vector B in Rm, the matrix equation, matrix A times vector X equals vector B, has a solution. And last but not least, this tells us that matrix A has a pivot position in each row. So we are going to, again, be continuously referencing back to this theorem for the remainder of the semester to not only help simplify computation, but to help us as we verify or prove statements later on in the course. So get excited.